welcome to my channel today is um april 25th tuesday yeah tuesday yeah all right thank you for the love for the support the subscriptions comments likes you know how i do let's get right into the video i hope y'all are having a beautiful day a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, it's hard to put this up, so the day. I hope you check out that reading that I did, the download that I got. Um, explain about my sisters. So I'm picking up. Aromas and senses and you know stuff like that. All right, let's get to the reading. We have the uh, Eight of Swords. This could be like a Gemini. I'm using my deck. Um, Eight of Swords could be. I feel like somebody could be entrapped or this could be. An advancement, some kind of advancement, some kind of change. Excuse me. I don't feel like this is a standstill. I feel like this person could be tied up with things, personal things in their life. I don't know if this person wants you to be isolated or this person could be in isolation to be able to think. I don't think, I'm not getting this person's feeling trapped or unable to see a way out. That's not what I'm getting. And I'm not getting um, any restriction or any confusion. I'm just getting, I'm getting this individual person, could be you, collective, just has, um, you're just tied up with life, work, family, children, you know, like every day situation, everything, life, things. That's what I'm getting here. So somebody is just saying that, no, this is a no. You're not You're not in isolation. What I'm saying is you probably tied up with work, family, children, wife, baby, baby whatever it is that you're tie, tied up in life. This is what I'm getting at Eight of Swords here, okay? I don't feel like this person is um trapped stuff, no. What I'm getting is, it could be some communication going on. This could be verbal communication or telepathic communication or me communicating with you guys on the internet or for my platform to you. Communication-wise and transportation, me how I read transportation is how the communication or how yeah, the communication gets to you. The message gets to you through telepathically, through dreams, through, through, through my platform to you or to whoever it is, or verbally communicating. All right, this could be definitely someone coming coming towards you as well. When we have transportation and com communication in Mercury, that is telling me that this person is on his way to you, or giving you some some talk, or sit down and talk, or communicate, or wants to have a talk with you, or wants to communicate with you, right? We have the tower card here. This is telling me that things could be I feel like things could be coming down. But what the tower card here is prior before a fall, prior before a fall. So but that's not what I'm getting. I feel like this person had an awakening. This could be a sudden change to you, collective, or to the other person. I don't feel like it's any rude awakening or destruction, even though that's what it means. Um, or collapse or accident. or That's not what I'm getting. What I'm getting here is... This is welcome the new. Something that, okay. So welcoming the new. For order for the old foundation to be brought down is something for some is something for a new foundation to come about. So when I say the eight of uh, uh swords, that meant that this person's not trapped. It just got 
um, things going on. You know what I'm saying? It has a lot of things going on. It's tied up with things, meaning children, meaning work, meaning business, meaning whatever, whatever, whatever it is that this you what this individual got going on. It's not bad, okay? Now the tower is telling me this is, you know. You know, welcoming the new. I feel like this person wanted, you know, something, you know, uplifting or something new or something vibrant, something, you know, um, a, a new start here with the arm tower. So we have the Aries here. We have Gemini. Gemini is a lover. It's a communication. It's, 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 a, it's a transportation. Then we also have Aries. Aries, we're dealing with the Mars, dealing with self, we're dealing with aggression, they're dealing with, you know, all kind of weird stuff, okay? You have abundance. We have seven hold on y'all so my light just went out so that could be a society so let's be yourself the lights went out Woo! don't know what that means i feel like somebody's probably still in darkness or trying to dent someone's success with someone's beginnings hmm, the light went out could be dimming someone's um uh beginnings okay that's interesting. Because when I said eight, it's about abundance and seven. That is heaven. That's a universe. That's Gaia. That is a divine intervention. That's a spiritual awakening. We have Libra here with the four of uh, pentacles. So this is telling me that this person is definitely in, you know, balancing the scales. Okay. This is dealing with a, a house of marriage and commitment. Here we go again with the house of marriage and commitment. And Venus is dealing with love, charming, harmonious. Okay. This could be models. This could be scales. Wait. I feel like this person feel like you could balance the scales. Or both of y'all can balance the scales. Or oh, you see, oh, this person sees you as bad as the scales. Well, I mean, this is fairness. This is fairness. This is this person um has a social life, which is um a large social life in, in open mind. So this is person is 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 in the community, very popular, whatever it is. All right, we this is a cardinal. So when you're dealing with a cardinal, this is um. It says the front runner of the zodiac universe as they in like the beginning of a star. So season gets better, attitude, visionary, leader, and so um starters. So cardinal is just like but with the season. I mean seasons. I said seasons. All right, we have the four uh pinnacles. So this is telling me this is a Capricorn. This is dealing with karma. This is dealing with you know leadership, house of leadership, and it's also dealing with um your stability. I feel like this person is worried. If this is us, this is dealing with firm foundation here. I don't know if this person sees you as a firm foundation or or this is this is the reason why this person feel like it's balanced. Your your foundation collective they see as firm, balanced. It's not a bad reading because I'm not reading you know, it's not a bad reading. All right, this is a firm foundation, this is stability. This person sees it's as stable, not stability, stable. Like, it ain't tilting. You know what I mean? It's, even when you try to tilt, it's like you back. You know, you, you, you just bounce, right? I feel like this person could be an add to the equation to also um, make that foundation solid and balanced as well is what i'm seeing here i feel like this person is spending less and saving more just because of dealing with security if it's dealing with if it's, if it, if it's worrying about family or children or whatever it's definitely working on a um, security and stability i feel like whoever you are you need to be greedy you need to be if this is dealing with money hidden money hiding money or hidden money I'm not sure about that, but I feel like this person is all about what's control of his own finances, which you should have control of your finances. But when you get into a marriage or a commitment, you kind of like have to be 50-50. But if you're the breadwinner, then you know you're the one bringing in, then, it's, then you're the one who should have, be dominating with it. But it depends if you, however you work in a relationship, okay? I feel like this is this person wants a long term commitment. I don't know why I did that. Somebody being nosy. Yay. I feel like somebody definitely wants to be in a long term commitment here. What time is it? 
It's gonna be very short. Really. So this is a long term, long term. So I feel like somebody thinking long term, desire for long term. Okay. Um, it could be a marriage. It could be a proposal. It could be someone's in love. It could be in a romantic feeling. And I see the Ace of Cups on the top of the deck. So maybe that's a sign in the city that somebody. I don't know how you feel about that person. I don't know. If this person older than you or younger than you or whatever, but they feel like this could be, you know, um, seven, the seven house is all about balancing family and marriage and babies and homes and uh, dealing with the seven house, you know what I'm saying? And then number seven is good luck, you know, got twice here, the tower, 16, break down the seven and Libra and the seven house, okay? Dealing with marriage, okay? Dealing with I think somebody here to be with you collected. Um, they see you at balance. They see the structure strong. strong. Even when people try to put a tie to you. But mainly it's Venus. So I feel like this person has feelings for you. Um, and I don't know if they, I don't know how you would take it or how you would feel collected. You know what I'm saying? So two of coins there you go the balancing the, the the equal give and take okay i feel like this person feel like this is going this can go a long way let's do my speech again and i feel like somebody has a crush on you <laughs> that's so cute somebody got a crush on you if they have children, I feel like it, even if they do have children or you have children collective, it's still going to be balanced. It's still going to be harmonious. It's going to still going to be love and peace and, you know, stuff like that. It's what this person is. Even, even when this two of pentacles here and there's the water, the wave of the water, it's not, this person see what you've been doing is still, you're still solid. Whoever you are, masculines, whoever you are, uh, feminine out there, okay? I want to say money, money, money. Because the four, because I, what I drew on this car, car here, I had to, I drew something right there. You can't see it, but dog. And I was, I drew a pants with the money coming out the pocket. So, I don't know. I had to put a little bit of foundation thing on my. Like I said, I don't wear makeup, but in case my hair blow like this in the wind, I had to put a dot, and I just don't, stop messing with my skin. You already fucking with my speech, but you ain't gotta be messing with my skin. Four basket, four cups, yeah. Somebody definitely, oh shit. Like that. That's how the person looking. So this person is bored with these cups, y'all. Bored. All right. This person is just not, not interested, right? We have the ten and nines here. I feel like somebody been betrayed here with multiple people here, or they these yeah, and it's seven sticks. So this is definitely being protective. I feel like the ten and swords here. Somebody wants to. Uh, portray somebody, but somebody is protecting whoever it is. I could, I can congratulate. I said, well, I want to say conclude, but it don't make no sense. I congratulate you for that. Okay. So this person is definitely protecting or in protection mode. Well, don't even give a fuck about when nobody says or anything. You know what I mean? Because somebody definitely want to send a sword to somebody uh, in them and betray them in painful, harsh endings, edible endings. You know what I'm saying? That is over. So this person keeps experiencing the ten, ten, ten of swords with ten, ten different people. Black Herman. Her, Herman. So this is a person who also is clever, has wisdom, has downloads, be able to see things from a different perspective. But I also feel like this individual be in a hermit a lot. Go within. I feel like this is also a magician as well. Okay. So this person not how to manifest. 
And it's a black hermit. So this is a magician, you know what I'm saying? It, it turns the dead leaf and it brings, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like this person definitely not how to, you know, play with, you know, energy. You know, I'm not going to say energy, but the uh uh uh. It's, it can manifest. Okay? Can manifest. I feel like it got wisdom. It is a magician because it's one year. This person is definitely protecting um, you or you being oh, you being protected. I feel like this is somebody who is a crush and people trying to tell you no, but it is. They're mad because you have other suitors. They're mad because, and they're jealous because there's somebody out there, more than one person that wants you collective, that, that actually wants you, that actually has feelings for you. You see what I'm saying? So everybody else is saying no. Get out of here. You really interested in none of these other cups. Um, I feel like you're interested in one cup individual. I'm, I'm I'm pretty sure that's that's what it is. All right, yeah, somebody definitely manifesting um something here. But you got these shape shifting trying to block shit and you're not blocking nothing. Somebody else is already black. Oh, they the shape shifter is here trying to block a ten of swords. The ending. And they're playing around with the black women, which I feel like is an magician, but it could be in isolation here. And they're not interested in any other cup. You know what I mean? I could read it other ways. So you do have a shape shifter because this is a lizard that's trying to block these other ones for coming in to, to, to be to be put under a betrayal or some kind of ending. You do have the three a basket. This is the three of cups here. This is third party situation. But I don't feel like it's any kind of third party situation. I feel like it's your children, you and your children, your spouse, you and your children and your spouse. That is a third party. So it don't have to be another person you're cheating on. It's your spouse or your girlfriend and, or someone you're thinking of or mutual with and the children when I'm looking at these cards. So the children could be a third party or your spouse or someone who's a mutual friend and you could be like a third party without add with the children. It don't always have to be another person that you cheating with or sleeping with. Children could be third party, you know what I'm saying? Your job could be a third party, you feel me? A third party. But it looks peaceful, all right? So I feel like somebody definitely um manifesting peace and this party. I feel like somebody giving us some sexy sexual energy. Man. Let me keep my thoughts to myself. Damn. <laughs> Shall <I> be? <laughs> and I've been celibate too. So let me do. Let me, okay. Bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. <sighs> we can one more with some. Alright. Okay, got three cards out. We're gonna start with this first. The four sticks in reverse. This is not a twin, okay? The family dynamic is discombobulated. We have John Horse. Oh, this is a military. This is this is, this is a person who fights in a Mexican um war. Or Hispanic war, the black um commander or uh soldier that was fighting in a um expanded army here. So this is what this is. Somebody could be a military or you know the one that come yeah. So this is this person. This person's ready to throw down. I don't give a fuck. Like this person is ready to have your back collective. I don't know who this person is. It could be a secret admirer. Um, and you may not be aware of it though. You see what I'm saying? Because you're so busy doing your own thing. But yeah, something is coming to an end. Funeral home. You know, Miss Robinson, this was, it's just a funeral home. So something is definitely laid to rest. It's coming to an end. It's a relationship that is coming to an end. I'm not saying anybody died, but I feel like, some, well, it could be a, a physical death, but it's also ending a relationship. Ending of a relationship. Like, me, I left my past behind, and 
I've been celibate and single and um it's been weird, but it's been cool. You know what I'm saying? Lay that to rest. But no longer serving. If they didn't see your value and they didn't see who you were then, why should you even accept them now? You see what I mean? When they running games on you and shit like that, playing with your emotion, all you wanted to do was show them unconditional love. The other side of what that what that be about without changing them their personality, but their ways to better your relationship or friendship or something that's mutual or business partner or whatever it is. A lot of people think, you know, people come in your life, there's something wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with me. You just missed out on some good thing. But you thought it was funny. You know what's not going to give you anything if you think it shit is funny. My love is not funny. My love is shit is pure. That shit that I do. I care. I care. I care. You understand what I'm saying? So for that, this is laying to rest. And am I am I open up to some something new? Yeah, I am. I'm keeping my eyes open, but I I'm not gonna rush into anything just so fast. So there is something that's being laid to rest. So whoever that is, you can have the karmic. All that fighting, manipulation. I got something new coming in. I got something better. That could feed me emotionally and, and, and physically and financially. You just put that work, work, work with it. You know what I mean? Wasn't even about your fucking money. It was about who you are, your character, the person, who you are in the inside. And when you show me who you are, I can't fuck with that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm glad I show you pure love, true love, genuine love, or whatever. When you thought that was soft or punk or pussy or whatever, ain't nothing pussy about me. Ain't nothing uh, punk about me. And my love and all that shit, I go hard, I go hard, I ride, I ride hard. And when I'm done, I'm done. See what I mean? And you should be like that too, collective. You should not feel no type of way, okay? Because I said so. I'm the queen. I said so. Now, I hope you have a beautiful day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was messing with my speech. That's why I couldn't get it. But you already know I don't give a fuck. I show you, right? I'm going to feel bad. I will show you all got my pimples breaking out the other day. And I had to like, man, you start showing because I act like I feel bad like I be all pretty listen it's good but when you want to show people the real shit because everybody all like you know mm, 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 you know me I'm going to leave it off that ending ending funeral home somebody definitely could be going in the funeral home oh what I got about the funeral home somebody could be buried in the funeral home alive so check that shit out and another thing there's the ending of a relationship Partnership. Um, yeah, it says RIP. That's it. It's an ending. Somebody looking for something new, like I said, with the um, the tower. You know? So, that's your message. I'm going to come back with another one, all right? So, hopefully you have a lovely, lovely, lovely day. I'm going to get it ready and then make my way do what I gotta do and come back and give you another one have a good day y'all